it's Karen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. So first of all, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel para naman makita mo yung videos ko every time I upload. So for today's video, as you have seen by the title, this is going to be how I edit my Instagram photos. And so in today's video, I will also give you guys some tips on how to maintain your feed or how to have a feed like the one that I have. And if you guys want to see how I edit my photos, then just keep on watching. So welcome to the first portion of the video which is going to be the editing portion and personally this is the type of feed na talagang feel ko nag work para sa akin first of all i love you know muted colors neutrals kaya parang i gravitate towards photos na alam kong magiging ganun yung itsura it's easy trust me so i really think of my feed as my project hindi ko sobrang hilig ko sa art sobrang hilig ko sa colors and so Sobrang hindi ko rin paglaruan yung feed ko. Kung ano yung feed ko, ay yung mood ko. To edit my photos, I only use one app, which is Visco. And then sometimes, um, I only use the settings in my camera roll. Or sometimes, I don't even edit my photos at all. I use these settings. Kasi parang feeling ko ito yung pinaka-safe settings na ginagawa ko to my photos. And then from there, I just adjust it. I feel ko need pa niya ng adjustment. So yeah. Ayan. So first, let us edit this photo. The one na nakagano na ko sa mirror selfie. Ayan. So when I edit, I don't really use any filter. So, ayun, I just focus on, again, these settings. And so first, I go straight ahead to the exposure. So in this photo, it really depends if I need to add more exposure or I need to decrease the exposure. So it really depends. So in this photo, I need to add exposure kasi medyo dark siya. So, so for this photo, I'm going to add um, positive 0.5. And next, I move on with the contrast. So in this particular feed, um, contrast yung pinaka um, sabi natin game changer. Kasi parang it really puts everything together na hindi gaano mataas yung contrast niya. So with that, I'm going to um, decrease my contrast to negative so by simply doing that, you can already see the before and after of your photo na malaki na nga yung pinagbago. And so after that, moving on to my third settings, I go on with my skin tone. So imagine lang yung feed nyo, and then you see your photos, iba-iba yung tint ng skin tone nyo. So that's why I use this setting. So I just move it to the right, to positive 6, para lahat ng photos ko, lahat ng skin ko sa feed ko will have the same, you know, parang undertone ayun. And so after doing that, I simply click on to next and then save as draft. So I save it as draft so I can copy the edits and then I paste it to my other photos. Yeah. So after that, so as you can see, this photo in particular, so yung sky, if you follow me on my Instagram, siguro nakita niyo yung latest, yun yung parang latest post ko nga, yung sky na yan. And hindi ko siya in-edit at all kasi nagmamatch na agad siya sa feed ko, so there's no need for me to edit it. And so yeah, that's simply how I edit my photos. And so moving on to the exciting part, which is about the tips on how to maintain that type of feed. The first tip that I'm going to share with you guys is number one, stick to neutral colors or muted colors. So this one is very easy for me. And so that's why I decided to have a feed like this because first of all, I really love um, muted colors and neutral colors. So it's easy for me to be attracted sa ganong mga bagay. And so that's why I gravitate towards those kinds of things. So ayun, ayun, ayun madalas yung laman ng camera roll ko since dun nga ako mas nag-gravitate. Kasi nga, I like how they look or like, pet ko yung um, color nila. And this one is very important because if you're planning to have, um, you know, a chill, a muted feed, hindi pwedeng bigla na lang may vibrant colors sa gitna. Because it'll ruin your feed. So, you know, stick to neutral colors and muted colors. So, tip number two is to make your background as minimal as possible. Um, I mean, it's, it is okay to shoot in front or on top of you know, a printed background. But it is very important pa rin to have photos with a minimal background or a plain background because it really changes the game as well. Because in your feed, you don't want to make it, you know, sobrang busy niya tignan, sobrang detalyado ng mga bagay-bagay sa likod, ganyan. So, having a minimal background really emphasizes your focus or your subject. And yeah, I love 
this tip. Sobra. And so, tip number three, use geometric shapes or lines um, sa photos nyo. Because it really helps you achieve that minimal type of feed. Hi guys. <laughs> My camera died. So, moving on to tip number four, which is all about which photos to take or what photos to take. And so, this one really also helps you to achieve a minimalistic feed or a feed that really goes together. So, the first photo na really goes well with that type of feed is your selfie your photo, your skin, your skin tone because, you know, that feed is really muted and adding warmth to your feed really helps it to be, you know, more alive. And so, yeah, skin tone. So, selfies. Selfies, outfit photos, just, you know, include your skin. The second type of photo is concrete or cement because, again, grays are really thriving in this feed. So, concrete and cement, it's a good one. So third is plants because having this type of feed it also shows some underlying green tones. You know, itong kagay nitong photo na to and kagay ng mga pictures ng coffee. What else? Basta yung mga yellowish sa ilalim ng parang may greenish siya. So it's okay to add, you know, plants to your feed. Yeah, you know, naalala niyo pa ba kanina sa editing portion yung skin tone to the right? Because the right one is more on the greenish tone, um, skin tone, kaya it really helps as well. And then, fourth one is the sky. You know, I love taking pictures of the sky. I love the sky. And just like these photos na nasa feed ko, you know, it really goes well with the feed. However, do not use sky pictures na baka naman sobrang vibrant ng pagka pink, sobrang blue na blue will ruin your feed. So, if you're trying to take photos of the sky, um, dun ka sa muted colors, dun ka sa gloomy days, um, dun ka sa cloudy photos na talagang alam mong mag-mix din talaga siya sa feed mo. And then, the last um, photo is yung mga shadows. So, just like this photo, I think na ano, shadows are also good photos to upload in that particular feed kasi soft nga siya and then minimal lang din yung background. And yeah, so it really goes well again. And for the fifth and the last tip na I will show you guys to have or to maintain um, that feed is to use an app called Onom or Onom. So I also mentioned this app in my previews how I edit my photos because sobrang game changer nito. Um, so you can use this app to rearrange your photos however you like it before uploading it to Instagram. And another good feature about it is that pwede mo siyang i-sync um, or like i-connect sa Instagram mo. So, yung mga ina-upload mong photos so automatically will be here. So, it will also show you your old feed. Again, I really love how you can rearrange your photos kasi you can really, you know, see how it will look like in your Instagram feed. And, yeah. So, again, tip lang din dito. Um, if you have a busy picture, huwag mo siya itatabi sa another busy picture. So, if you have a busy picture, itabi mo siya sa something na, you know, very open, very plain. So, for example, itong picture ko ng um, parang collarbone ko, itatabi ko siya kunwari sa picture ng sky because collarbone photo is busy and then yung sky photo naman is somewhat plain. Sobrang bagay sila together. And also, um, minimake sure ko na Whenever I upload, kung ako yung nasa baba, or like kung tao yung nasa baba, I will make sure na hindi tao yung nasa taas niya. Gets ba? Yeah, kasi parang feeling ko, hindi lang pwedeng minimal lang yung katabi, but kailangan, alam mo rin kung ano yung nasa ilalim niya and nasa taas niya. So, ayun. I think that that tip is also really helpful to have or to maintain a feed na kagaya nung Instagram feed. So that's it for today's video and I hope you guys liked it and I hope this video was able to help you achieve your Instagram feed. And if yes, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any video suggestions, just leave them down below and I'll try my best to make them. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!